Hello, my name is Karina and this is my perfume map. Today I wanted to talk about my Middle Eastern perfume collection and what I think about these and which ones are my favorite, which ones I'm still learning about, and which ones I recommend, and kind of just general thoughts on these fragrances. So most of these have been influenced um, by YouTube. In general, I would say that like I don't get influenced that often by other uh, YouTube creators uh, unless I already think that we have the same taste because they mention that a certain fragrance is their favorite. Usually I influence myself by going down a rabbit hole on something like Fragrantica or just reading about fragrances that might be similar to something I like or if I know there's a note I like, I start kind of compiling a list. But I can say with a lot of certainty that almost all of these have come from a YouTube recommendation or I bought one based on a YouTube recommendation and then I like added a couple more to the cart. So I will try to remember who influenced me. If, if I have that memory, I'll let you know. The first one that I'm going to show you is one that's like pretty new to my collection and this is Awan. Awan by Latafa. And I know that I bought this based on a video by um, a person named Anya. And she said that this, whenever she recommends this one to somebody and they buy it, they're really pleased with the recommendation and they love this fragrance. And I think she described it as being like a caramel, like a fruity caramel kind of, um, fragrance and I bought it on Amazon. I try to buy fragrances on Amazon as much as possible because I do have like an Amazon credit card so it's always like 5% off and then I get rewards you know so sometimes I use my rewards and I think this one was about $26 on Amazon. So I bought this one based on her recommendation and I've only had it a couple weeks and I did spray it right when I got it and I will spray it now. And I'm gonna do these kind of in the order of least favorite to most favorite, but it's kind of loose. It's kind of a loose order, okay. So I already said that so you know that like maybe I'm not that wild about this. Okay, so she said like a caramel, I think she, she, really, she really hyped up the caramel. And I don't even know why that would influence me because that's usually not with something I'm after. There's just something about the way she said it that I was like, I want to try that. And I also think I like the green color of the bottle. Okay, so when I first spray this, what I smell is um, a heavy, cleaner, plastic, and just something that makes me think of a pit toilet or a porta potty. Now, I'm going to move on beyond this, so please don't get offended. When I'm saying this, it's just that's what I smell when I first get it. There's like a heavy duty orange. There's not a caramel smell, but there's like a very animalic, like honey smell. And it's really intense. There's like a very green patchouli in there. It's like a mix mash of 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 scents that I'm just like, what? What's going on? Like, why would anybody put these together? This is so intense smelling. But in the dry down, I put some on my skin earlier. There is like a, like a caramelized honey, orange flower, sandalwood thing going on that I think I find pleasant. I'm not sure. I'm going to live with this one longer and see what I think. But if you get this and your first impression is not favorable, even though you're going to find a lot of reviews where they just love this. Um, I'm with you. I think I might like it more in the future. We'll see. We'll see what aging does. We'll just see what like, you know, a lot of times when I smell a perfume, what I notice first about it is what I was not expecting. You know, I think that's why first impression reviews aren't that helpful. But anyway, that's all on. What's cool is this, this came in that, you know, like it's kind of hard to find a list of notes and stuff for 
Latafa. This is just the Latafa Pride collection. So you see here it says bergamot, orange jasmine, orange blossom, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. I mean, yeah, it's pretty intense. But there's some in here that I think seem really cool. Like, um, what was it? There was one in here that I'm like, I really want to try that. Maybe this one. I don't know how to say that. It kind of sound would sound weird in English, I think. A fuck? Um, I don't know. But yeah, it came with this little pamphlet. And that's pretty neat because you don't usually get to just look at the notes of Latafa stuff. Oh, I think it's this one. I think it was this one. Bergamot, lychee, rose, incense, amber, and vetiver. Yeah. Anyone tried this? Thuk? Thuk? I want to try it. Yeah. Okay. So that's, this one is so far is probably my least favorite. My second least favorite, and this is a bummer because I really thought I would like this, is Nashit. And this is supposedly a, um, like a, um, Nishane uh, Ani dupe. I don't know if Awan is a dupe of anything. I don't, I don't know what it is, if it is. It's nothing, I've never smelled anything like it. Um, so it's weird that I bought this. I bought this based on Sea Chronicles, for sure, because she had this like in the number one spot on one of her like uh, Middle Eastern fragrance countdowns. But I don't know why I would buy it because I have already purchased a um, Ani dupe in the past and I, I don't know, I was like, okay, but this is, um, I mean, I could see why people like this. It's like a green vanilla. It's like a spicy, a green spicy vanilla. Like if you like Tom Ford, um, tobacco vanille, stuff like that, you'd probably like this. It's kind of got like a like a spiced cookie with maybe like a little bit of patchouli, definitely something kind of green. I just like, um, I don't, it's weird. I don't, I, I kind of want to just tell you, like, I don't get this kind of fragrance. Like I don't, I don't know why I would want to smell like this. Maybe I will at some point though. I don't know. But I was going to show you that, um, when I, first kind of got into buying perfumes blindly. I bought this off Etsy. This is uh, genre perfumes or like Louisiana Aroma Company. And they're a pretty popular dupe house, but this is their Praline Musk, which is also a uh, Nishane Ani dupe. But dude, this is like the worst. Look at this. Ugh. It's like, what the heck? It comes with this dropper bottle, but like, this, you wouldn't... You, you wouldn't use it like that. You know, I mean, ugh. Look at got some I don't even want to touch that because see it's like attracting dust. And then um anything it touches, dude, it uh it gets on there. I don't even want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I don't think that they've continued with this whatever. They can be called it like a, I don't know, like a honey. Ugh. But anyway, that was my other experience with Nishane Ani dupe. And I I didn't even know what that was when I bought this. This one kind of smells more like a gingerbread witch. That's what my kids say it smells like. Um, yeah, moving on. Um, the next one I'll show you. Guess would be this one. And I don't ever hear much about this. This one I definitely bought because of Ruth Ann McKinnon. Do you watch Ruth Ann McKinnon? I really like her channel. I like watching people that are kind of, you know, you're in my age group and um, I kind of know. Okay, this is why I think ageism in, in perfumery is kind of important because you grew up associating certain things with certain smells, right? Like if you are my age around, you know, 50, you're going to have an idea of what soap smells like, shampoo smells like, what toothpaste tastes like, right? Like we didn't grow up with body wash. We didn't grow up with, um, you know, we had certain kinds of detergents. So like 
if I say something so smells soapy, it's going to mean something different depending on how old you are. Now, that doesn't mean I don't like to watch younger. I like to watch all the ages because, you know, the younger people, oh, you young people, you can turn me on to something that's new, something that I haven't thought of or smelled or, or, or noticed or, you know, a fragrance that's not as meaningful to me, but, but I can like it and it's new and fresh. Anyway, this is Rich Lady by, it says La Muse, and on the back it does say La Taffa, but I don't know if this is not a line they're still doing or what, but this is like a Lady Million dupe, which I haven't smelled. This has kind of a fruity, soapy raspberry thing going on. Um, I do like it. I do want to smell Lady Million, and I love, and that's by Paco Rabanne, I love Paco Rabanne. Olympia Intense. I've talked about that. Um, this is kind of, um, it's kind of an intense, soapy, pretty strong smelling fragrance. I could see this being pretty brutal in this super hot summer. I may have kind of missed my opportunity this winter to get into this one more, but, um, you know, I've had it for a little while and I like it. And I like the idea of being a rich lady. That's probably my favorite character. Rich lady. Um, so yeah, we got that one. I, I, I know I didn't pay over $30 for any of these. So if you're wondering. And I don't have anything really else in my collection that smells like this. It's like a soapy, fruity um, scent. The next one I have is... <laughs> I hate the name, really. I Am White Poudre by Ana Abiede. Is that how you say that? Abiede? Um, this is very powdery. This smells like the outside of a marshmallow, which is like cornstarch. It's like a, like I touched a marshmallow, but I'm not a marshmallow. I'll spray this one on skin because I did put a little bit of this on earlier. This is good. I could see this one being really, really popular, or I could see it being completely ignored. Seems like it could go either way. It is like sweet and like a, it's like a powder, not like a, not like a powdered sugar, but like the powder, the cornstarch on a marshmallow. Like my son told me it smells like the inside of a candy wrapper, like Halloween candy wrapper. It does. It has like a powdery, almost like a powdery, waxy, sweet smell. Very simple like a very simple fragrance have you tried this i haven't heard like a lot of people talk about this but this is um i got this for 20 dollars. i bought this on triple traders and nobody influenced me this was like i i added this to an order um and i got it around black friday i ordered it on black friday so i've had this a while i never think of when i would wear this though because it's kind of like just like a sweet powder I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll grow on me over time. The next one I'll show is uh, Rogbo Wood Intense. I talked about this before in my very first video because I think this is kind of has something in common with Grease Charnel. Most people compare this to like By the Fireplace, but it has like this licorice-y greenness to it. Mm, it's so strong though. I mean, it smells good, but it kind of grosses me out. It's like um, guyac wood, like sweet. It kind of reminds me of a woody version of um, Aqualina Pink Sugar. Like it's got a lot of that sweetness with the wood and like a smokiness and a green, like a really green licorice smell. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I wear this sometimes in the summer, even though it's like really strong and smoky and intense, but like, it's like a one spray for me. Like that's it. And this lasts forever. This will get on your clothes. This will, this is, I mean, I scrub in the shower. I'm like a washcloth and a loofah lady with bar soap, ivory. And like, you have to like really, really scrub this off your skin. But I mean, if you want to smell kind of smoky, sweet licorice -y, it's pretty good. Okay, now we're getting down to 
some that I really like. I've talked about this a couple times. Uh, this is Bearcat Satin Oud by Fragrance World. And I want to say like it was probably a group effort on many YouTubers that influenced me on this one. I think this is one of the best dupes out there. Um, this dupe is so good that it really makes me question the integrity of Oud Satin Mood. Like, because this is so close and it's like $16 on Amazon. This is an Oud rose mmm my god it's so good it's it's too it's actually too good i i don't ever feel like i need to smell this delicious that sounds so stupid but it's true it's like it's too sweet and delicious i mean i just wear this at home like i'll wake up in the morning and i'll be like dude amazing like that smells so good it's like a rose pie like, if you're ever going to look into dupes, this is the one. This is the one to get. I I don't know. It makes me, it makes me wonder, Francis Kirk John. Like, did you work that hard on Nude Satin Mood? Why is this only $16? And I have compared them side by side. And there's a difference, but it is really close. Really close. I don't, I don't think I'll ever get through this bottle, but I would buy it again if I did, just because Fragrance World did it. Okay, so now we're getting close to what I think I like the best. Um, here's Camera. We all know about Camera, right? I got this on Triple Traders, influenced by everyone. Um, I got it for $20 during a, maybe $21, during a um, Black Friday sale. My cap is destroyed. You see, I don't know if you can see how the cap is actually stuck up in there. So I can't, it just sits on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a spicy date fragrance. Very, very, um, let's see. It's like a... Yeah, like dates and cinnamon, I guess. Like a lot of cinnamon. Actually, Bath and Body, Body Works, sweet, I should have got that out. Bath and Body Works, sweet cinnamon pumpkin smells a lot like this. If you like that sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which I think is like pumpkin, ginger, and cinnamon, or sandalwood, cinnamon, ginger, it smells really, really similar to this. It has that same there's almost like a like a slightly trashy smell like a trashy like party like not fancy smell it's in both sweet cinnamon pumpkin and in camera yeah i like it but it does smell kind of trashy to me what do i mean by trashy i don't know it's just what comes to mind. When, when, both when I smell both of those, just kind of trashy. <laughs> I think it's cinnamon. I think cinnamon smells kind of trashy to me. Um, but yeah, Camera. I would. You can. You know what's weird about Camera is if you look on Amazon, the price goes up and down every day. Like it. Go, it's like twenty four dollars, thirty six dollars, twenty eight dollars. Like every day. Just you should. You have to watch Camera like the stock market. A lot of these. Um, a lot of these uh, Middle Eastern fragrances are like that. Okay, so this is by, I think you say Ard Al Zafran, Oud 24 Hours. This is so good. I don't, I'm, I, I love, I'm wearing so many different fragrances, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh my God. I can smell this one instantly. Like I can spray it and sniff it. This is a really earthy oud. This smells like, like, um, it's, oh, it's a dupe for black orchid. That's what people say. And I think it smells like black orchid, but with an aquatic note. It has this earthy, truffly, kind of patchouli, dark, violet smell with, like, a really like a mineral -y aquatic note. Oh my gosh. It is like 
this this th just by the appearance of the box and everything I feel like this was made with like a man in mind but this smells like a socialite to me this is like what I what I thought I would smell like when I grew up my fantasy version of myself who lives in like a castle that the kids are afraid of but really she's nice and she donates a lot of money to libraries that character she wears this so if you like black orchid or if you're black orchid curious I want to say this was $7.99 on triple traders mm. so I pulled out a couple of other fragrances I have this is black orchid inspired by impressive bliss I'm fairly certain that it was Ruth Ann McKinnon that convinced me to buy from this company, but I might have just happened to buy from them too. I can't remember, but we'll give her credit because I know she loves this. This is a very delicious black orchid dupe. It's not exactly the same as this one because I don't notice an aquatic thing going on with this. This is just like earthy chocolate truffle patchouli dirty, wealthy, um, fancy. It's gorgeous. I love wearing this. I think we can include this in a Middle Eastern haul because it smells so similar to this. I don't know how much Middle Eastern fragrances are dupes. You know, the more of them I smell, the more I'm like, is it really a dupe? Or, I mean, are we just not being fair? Um, okay, so this, this, uh, Oud 24 Hours, it smells like a combination of Black Orchid and CK2. Do you know this fragrance, CK2? It's been discontinued, but you can still get these 20 mil samples on eBay for around $11 each. And it is my favorite, favorite, favorite aquatic ever. Because it has the kind of classic CK Calvin Klein aquatic notes, but with pebbles and wasabi. So it smells like fun. It smells like a water park. It smells like outside. It smells spicy, delicious, fresh, amazing, gorgeous, aquatic. And there's this, this is close to this. This is a little earthier, but if you like CK2 and you're bummed that you can't get it, I think you should try Oud 24 Hours. Okay, so now we're down to my final and favorite Middle Eastern perfume, obviously a dupe, a super dupe. For a while, people were saying that like this company was getting sued and Tom Ford was mad. And I, didn't, I think that's a bunch of blah. I think it's not true. But um, uh, Maison Alhambra Bright Peach, Peach Patchouli Pie. That's what it is. Tons of patchouli, very green patchouli, kind of earthy. Now, sometimes peach smells like cat pee to me and this one has that but for some reason the combination of the patchouli which almost enhances that part of it makes it smell so fresh and then the cinnamon in there it the dry down is like a sweet peach pie it starts out like patchouli patchouli peach and slowly dries down into cinnamon peach pie this is awesome and when I wear this out, people are smiling at me. Do you ever get the perfume smile? It's not exactly a compliment, but you walk by somebody and, and you just see their like lips kind of turn up like they're happy. This is like, this is a fragrance that I know people notice and I'm not somebody who's going to bomb the place with my perfume, but this is a good one. This is a great fragrance and I think it's about $26 on Amazon. Well worth it gorgeous. I want to get other ones um, in this line. I want to get like the rose and the, not the tobacco vanille, but maybe like the Porto Neroli kind of dupe. Oh my gosh. So good. Check out Bright Peach. Check out Oud 24 Hours and Camera. Those would be my top recommendations with uh, honorable mention of Rogba Wood Intense and um, I Am White Poudre. Uh, oh, and definitely Bearcat Satin Oud for the people who just want to smell like super duper good. I hope you've had a great day. I hope that you found my review helpful or entertaining or I hope we 
um, agree or disagree about some things and we can get to know each other through perfume. And I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.